Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. Today I'm going to be trying something out called air pots. Now these are these cylindrical containers and what they consist of is a base piece and then a piece of black plastic which has holes running right the way around the outside. I'll show you how to put one together in a minute. Now, how they work is you put compost in as normal, like a normal pot, and you plant your plant into the top. And what happens is, as the plant roots out into the compost, as it comes to the edge, the root can't emerge from the hole. Basically what happens is the roots are air pruned, so it forces the plant to branch its roots more. So you get a much more dense root ball, lots of more fibrous roots. So I'm going to try this with some chilies and peppers. And also I'm going to try an experiment comparing growing a tomato in an air pot compared to a tomato in a conventional pot. So the way you build them, they come in this curved piece of uh, plastic with a separate base. Uh, the base has got a top and a bottom. You put them with the dome shape bit facing up. And all you do is count up three rows of the little uh, bumps and then run that round it. It's a little bit fiddly to do, but not too bad. And then you just overlap and create your pot. And then you have these screw-in clips that hold it together and you just Screw them in. You do one at the top and one down near the bottom. We just twist them in and that holds it all together. Now you have your finished air pot. Same with the larger ones, they just have a blue base, they're the size that I'm going to grow the tomatoes in. They're about 20 litres and the medium sized one which was the other yellow one is 9 litres. So what I'll do now is just put some compost in, this is multi-purpose clover compost. Not sieved or anything, but I find it has some bits in it, but doesn't seem to cause any problems. Fill it to nearly the top. Just uh, compact it down a little bit because the compost does have to just uh, go into the holes. So it doesn't completely push out through the holes. The idea behind is that the roots, when they reach the edge, they basically air prune and start growing back inside the compost so you get a much more developed root system. So I'm going to try that now with one of my chilies. So I've got this chili plant, it's a variety called Apache. It's already got some flowers developing on it so should get some chili soon so be interesting to see how a chili plant does in one of these type of pots I believe it should do quite well it should develop a decent root system so we'll see how it does 
and just give it a bit of a water. Just to settle it in. And then I'll put it in the greenhouse and let it grow on. Another plant I'm going to try in one of these medium sized air pots is a sweet pepper. So this is a, a bell pepper variety called Bell Boy. This was a bought plant, not grown from seed. It's not long been potted up to be honest. So uh, decent root system. Just create a planting pocket. And push it firmly in and I'll give that a good water. So there we go. Bellboy pepper in an airport. So it'll be interesting to see how this does in the greenhouse. And now I'm going to do a experiment with a direct comparison between two tomato plants. So this is a 20 litre air pot. I've put plenty of compost in it. So the variety of tomatoes I'm going to use for comparison is this uh, tray of yellow perfection. I don't know how well you can see those, but uh, I'm going to take They've been grown in modules and they're ready to be planted on. So what I'm going to do is take one plant and put it in the air pot. And then I'm going to find a pot that's near as close to 20 litres as I can and do the same thing in a conventional pot. So we now have, uh, this is the pot without the air holes. It's uh, 21 litres, so more or less the same size as the air pot. And what I'm going to do is plant a tomato plant, a similar size one to the one that uh, I've just planted in the air pot. So let's see which one have we got. I'll go with that one. Bury it down to that level and give it a water in. So there we go, we've got the two pots, we've got the conventional pot and the air pot. They've both got a similar volume of compost in them, so it will be interesting to see which one of them produces the most tomatoes. I'll now put these in the greenhouse and just keep them there for a couple of days until they acclimatise into their new pots and then I'll put them both out in the allotment and I'll update you through the season. Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's Allotment. I'll see you again next time.